Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another video. Today, we're going to be reviewing the brand new tapped out update that has dropped the Treehouse of Horror XXXI. So, 31 basically. So, the Treehouse of Horror 2020 or the Halloween 2020, whatever the hell you want to call it. Basically, the Halloween update that we've just got. So, very cool, it dropped. We obviously got some a few spoilers early on. Uh, yesterday, I brought you a spoiler video, so we knew roughly what we we're going to be getting. I was a little mix on it at first. I was like, ah, it could be good, it could be bad. I think it really depends on the execution. And I think I'm leaning more towards bad. And I'll get into those reasons in a bit. So, there are definitely good things in this update. It's not all bad. It's got good aspects, for sure. But there are certain things that really show a little bit of a lack of care from the creators of the game. So, to start off, obviously, here is the splash screen, as you can see. We obviously have the... I'll show you the main, the kind of opening artwork, if you will, in a bit. We'll show that at the end. But here's the splash screen. Obviously, most of you have probably seen it. The quest line is roughly based around Old Scratch, and it's kind of it appears that he's going to be kind of leading the event, which is a bit weird considering he is premium. It would have made more sense for him to be in the unlocked in the prize track, and even if that me may means making Bezelbart a premium costume, I mean, so be it. Like. Old Scratch seemed more important to the quest line than him, so I don't know why they didn't just give us Old Scratch, or just give us both. I don't know why they didn't give us Old Scratch in the prize track. That's my first kind of thing, but anyway. The theme is, of course, Hell. We get we get stuff from segments that have shown the Simpsons or other characters in Hell, so we're getting kind of the elementary school stuff, and we're getting stuff from, like, the Stairway to Hell and Old Scratch, of course. Some, some stuff from older episodes, the Donut Operator, obviously. So, some stuff from older episodes, some stuff from newer episodes. It's a real mixed bag, but they've kind of gone with the theme of Hell. I like this theme. I didn't think about it before, but it's a fairly decent theme. I didn't think there would be that much stuff for us to get, but to be fair, they've really got a fair amount of stuff, and there's actually more. There's there's more they could have included if they wanted to. The structure of the event is, of course, a four-act multi-event, if you will. So, obviously, it's four mini-events, pretty much, <laughs> uh, combined to make one big multi-event. Uh, fairly decent event, obviously, no complaints, whatever, fairly decent structure. I mean, I'm kind of getting sick of it, as I've always said, but I can't really bash this event for it in particular, because every event has done it in the past, so, yeah, but I am getting a bit tired. I wish they would switch things up. My biggest complaint, though, is this. There is no music, there is no spooky colouring, there is no leaves, or at least I didn't see any leaves blowing in the across the screen, and, oh my god, some of the trees are coloured to the kind of autumny colour or the fall colour, if you will. But then some of them aren't. <laughs> so it's like half of them are like autumn colour, but the rest aren't. And I don't understand what they're doing. Like, it's really weird. Um, it really feels lazy. Like, no music. It's just regular tapped out music. There's no spooky kind of colouring. They could have done like a fiery red if they wanted to. That would have been really awesome. Would have showed like a bit of uniqueness. But they couldn't even be bothered just to bring in the old Halloween setting. Like, the old Halloween music and the old Halloween colouring. Like, they could have just done that at least. I don't understand why. And, and this is the main reason why I'm leaning more towards bad. Like... It's so simple. It's something they've done like multiple times in the past, so I don't know why they couldn't just implement it once again. Maybe in a few weeks they're going to change it. I don't know. Maybe they forgot or something, but man, that's really annoying. I really hate that. It doesn't feel like a Halloween. It just feels like a regular major update, right? I don't have that, that kind of atmosphere of Halloween, and, and that's the most disappointing thing about it. And then also... The building limit has increased, which is great. Uh, I love this. Now, this got uh, this kind of got revealed by the people who are on the NDA. But, yeah, the building limit has increased a little bit. I've never personally had issues with the building limit, but I know that a lot of people get frustrated with it, so it's very good that they've increased it. They haven't increased it by much, for sure, but obviously there's performance issues there. Like It, it makes sense why. Obviously, they have to make sure the game can still run with an increased building limit and increased buildings. Yeah, so, whatever. It's cool. I'm glad that they've increased it, at least. So, anyway, that's about five minutes into, like, just things in between the event. Like, things involved with the event. We haven't actually talked about the event itself. 
I think I will say the quest line is okay. I like the quest line overall, but for everything else in terms of theme structure, uh, well, theme's okay, I guess. But the structure, the mu the fact that there's no music, a lot of kind of less, not very much care. Uh, I'm not I'm not too sold on it. But we'll get into the actual content that we receive. So we're going to move on to the prize track. Uh, then we'll move on to the store. We'll do characters, all that. We'll discuss it all. But yeah, just to start, that's my kind of overarching theme. So let's start off with the prize track. So of course the prize track is pretty damn simple, it's just the obvious, the standard five act, well five part, one act kind of prize track, like a mini event is normally structured, however there is of course the token that is thrown in, so the first act looks like this, the first prize is the Hellport Pentagram, the second prize if you do not own it is the Hell Elementary School, if you do own it though you just get a token, um, so this is the only act which has, has got a token thrown in, the rest actually don't have tokens, so you're going to be able to unlock five prizes, I love this, but I wish they still threw a token in the mix, so I really wish that it was like five prizes, and then one of the prizes was a prize plus a token. Now I like the fact that they've added the elementary school back to the prize track, that's very cool, and you know supplementing it with a token is a good idea, I like that. But, man, I just really damn wish that they just threw the token in with a prize in the later acts. So the first act is going to be the only act that has a token. And you only get that token if you don't own the elementary school. So it's a little bit disappointing, actually. It's funny. But, I mean, I think... I think that... It's better than having just tokens filling up the prize track, at least. I, I At least I think... Yeah, I'm trying to say this is still good. But... I really wish that they still threw the token in somewhere. They can just add it with like a combo, right? So like, for example, in the second act, we could get Lucifer with a token. Uh, yeah, I think that would work. But apart from that, it's a fairly decent one. Obviously, you've got the Hellport Pentagram, the Elementary School. The, f the third prize is the Cursed Desk. The fourth prize is the Hell's Kitchen, which is a building. Very cool. And the fifth and final prize is, of course, Bezel Bar. So yeah, overall, very nice. Then, of course, we have the animation. So, this wasn't actually a prize, and they did this in the Van Houten's event, and I praised them for it. And they've also done it in this one, which is good. So, with the Cursed Desk, it unlocks a little animation for Lisa. I was really happy they did this. I really hope they keep continue doing this, because I'm, ma I'm not majorly against animations as prizes. If it happens once or twice in a major event, I'm cool with it. If anything, if they're really, really cool animations especially, I I'm down with it. This animation isn't amazing, but it's no big deal because it was just added in the quest line. It wasn't really, you know, they didn't make it, force it in the, as a prize or anything. So, yeah, overall, I'm, I'm happy enough with this animation being added in as a, as a kind of, uh, as, a, as a kind of extra prize that you get in the quest line. Very cool. Just thought I'd quickly comment on that. Right here we have the store, so I thought I'd just quickly show you this as well. Of course, loads of returning items, loads of combos with just returning decorations and stuff. I like it when they do this instead of just chucking it in the mystery box or, you know, the yearbook or adding it to the prize track or the store as premium. They've added it as most, most, of, most of it as cash. This is cool. I like it when they do this. It's good to give, you know, some of the previous free stuff to the new players. So I'm very happy when they do this. But unfortunately, that comes with Donut Head Homer. So the Donut Head Homer, I do want to quickly discuss this separately from the character and costume section that I'll do in a sec. The reason why is because, of course, this has been added in as a super premium item, added in with some donuts. Now, I was really stoked to get this, as you guys probably knew from the spoiler video or my top 10 costumes I want in the game. I've wanted this in the game for a goddamn while, but it's been added in the store as a super premium item. Now, this is disappointing in a lot of ways, but I will say there is one positive to it, and that is it was added with a tray full of donuts instead of the uh, truckload of donuts. Now, the reason why is that's $10 or £10 cheaper. So, although, yes, we are getting... It is a super premium. At least there isn't the the most expensive, you know, donut bundle or the or a really expensive donut bundle. Now, ideally, I'm cool with them doing super premium items as long as it purports with the price of the donuts. So, if a character is normally a hundred, you know, like a character is normally what, like 70, 80 donuts. Let's say eighty. So, if a character is normally eighty donuts, then ideally it should come with no more than like a hundred donuts. Now, I'm not sure the exact 
uh, uh, donut amounts is to be honest. There's a dozen, there's the stack full, uh, there's the tray full, isn't there? The dozen, stack full, tray full, is it? Or is it stack full and tray full the same thing? I'm, I don't know. But I, I'm, I'm kind of okay ish with the it being added with a tray full. It's still annoying, it still doesn't help, you know, uh, free players. I mean, if they just added it as like a, you know, like a pound or a dollar. If you could get this for like a dollar or a pound, I think I'd be cool with it because it's not that expensive. It's just when they add them with like really expensive uh, bundles. They, for example, the first time packs or the Jebediah Springfield thing they did with the Shelbyville tie-in kind of thing they did a while back. That I hate because you have to actually buy the individual bundles. And you you can't just buy one bundle and get everything. So I hate that one in particular. But I feel like there's a, there's a reason why I hate that one more than I hate this one. I still, I'm not... A f I'm still not really sold on this, but hey, at least it's not too expensive. At least it's affordable, you know? So, yeah, that's my opinions on that, at least. So I think this is a good segue to look at the characters and costumes we've got. So here are the first of all. We've got the characters. So, of course, we have the Hell Teacher, uh, who looks very weird. But <laughs> we'll have to see how she is. Uh, the only hem Hell Principles, who of course is just Chalmers and Skinner. Uh, there's an argument you could make that this should be a costume, but to be fair, it would be really difficult to make this a costume. You'd either have to make it a costume for just Skinner or just Chalmers, or have to find some way of combining the two characters when this costume comes together. I don't know. But um, yeah, I like it overall. It's, it's a cool thing. Then you got Old Scratch. Really like Old Scratch. Premium gameplay is coming soon for him. Um, very awesome. I really like him. He's, he's, he's just very cool. He's got voice and everything. Definitely recommend him. But the Flanders Personal Hell is not a building. The Torture Coach, eh, not amazing. It's okay, I guess, but nothing too crazy. Then you got Demon Mo. Um, so I'm not a massive fan of this just because we've got something similar. And that was, of course, the Devil or the Devil Mo, if you will. Now, there was this meme that came on Reddit, as you can see here. Uh, Lorkin sent me this meme, so shout out to Lorkin, he pointed out, but I know that a few people on the Discord were discussing this meme as well, so very funny. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of the Game Master costume. I'm not a big fan of this one, gonna be honest. I think this one is a bit cruddy, a bit crappy, so yeah. And then finally, we of course have the Demon Technician, who I think is, is okay. It's cool enough. Then, moving on, we have costumes. As you can see here, we have the Beezlebot, Lucifer. Both of those are going to be unlocked in Act 1 and Act 2. And then finally, you've got the Donut Head Homer, who we, of course, already discussed. So, yeah, overall, those two costumes are cool enough. Donut Head Homer, I really like. I just wish it wasn't super premium. Or I wish it was a tiny bit cheaper, but hey, at least it's not so expensive. But overall, I think characters are pretty decent. Like, nothing amazing like out of the park like crazy but nothing bad for sure there's there's some good ones in there old scratch i think all the costumes are good for the most part too and i really like the donut technician and the hell teacher and the hell principal too so yeah overall characters i would say is is good and then finally we have my building and character showcase so as you can see here, loads and loads and loads of cool buildings well not really one building so you got the Hell's Kitchen there, which I, I like a lot. The Ned Flanders Personal Hell, which is a decoration. Uh, we got the pentagram thing there as well, and the cursed desk. So those are the four, two, well, one building and three decorations that we got so far in Act 1. Both obviously the premium stuff and the actual Act stuff. So yeah, very, very cool. Very, very awesome. Um, the the two, the pentagram and the desk are a bit small. They're not like crazily easily things to decorate either, but... Hey ho, at least we've got some cool stuff, so yeah. So overall, what are my opinions on this update? So I think overall it's, it's, I'm leaning towards more bad, but there are good things in it. I will say that. There's good things in it, but I'm leaning towards bad. The main reason why I'm leaning towards bad is it just doesn't feel like a Halloween update. It really doesn't. It feels kind of off. It doesn't feel perfect. Like, if they wanted to, like, really put some care into this, they could have kind of made the, 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 like I said, the design, the artwork, the, the town, make it like a, a blood red, like, like, the town is on fire. Maybe, like, add, like, an effect where all the trees are on fire and stuff. That would be so awesome. So it actually feels like this, it's like hell on earth, right? Uh, but when I was like reading the quest line for Old Scratch, for example, I, I didn't say it in the video, but I was thinking, 
man, this just doesn't, like, it's meant to be like two devils fighting on the streets. But I can't believe it in this atmosphere. It just doesn't feel right. And that's my the biggest reason why I'm leaning towards bad. But I will say there are good aspects. I think Old Scratch, very, very cool. Some of the buildings that we're going to be getting in the future, they look good as well. Like the Old Scratch's gym. I know that's tapped out exclusive, but it still looks good. Hell's Mose is good. The Hell Stage, although maybe it should have been a decoration, that looks really awesome. Uh, really spooky. Um, the Murder House too. Uh, really glad to really glad to get that. But yeah, um, it just feels a little off. It doesn't feel perfect. I, I wish they put maybe a little bit more care into it. But yeah, that's my overall opinions on the update. So tell me your thoughts. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you next video. Tell me your thoughts. Premium gameplay coming out in a few hours or tomorrow. And I'll see you next one. Goodbye.